let's have a let's have a look at your bike. I yeah, can, why not? Okay, so, yeah. so uh, we're in the front of the bike. Maybe we can see the front. So uh, okay, so we see like the the front fork and the braking systems. They are all yes. stock, I think. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. everything. I mean, it's yeah, the shifter, the brakes. Mm -hmm. Even the fender, the lights, that's everything yeah, original, that, which yeah. is bullet is mount or, or Larry Harry is mounting yeah. on the bikes right now. I never yeah. changed any technical thing. No, okay. So, but you've, you've put uh, like a, a small decoration <laughs> on your yeah. fender, on your front um, fenders. So I've, I've seen on your Instagram that you do also like that you talked about the, three, the 3D printing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So that's something <laughs> that you, one of your creative projects, I think. They are, they are coming soon, that's for sure. So okay. I got a lot of reactions. You know, this is coming from other Berlin. Oh, no, it's not. It's, I think it's a German cargo bike, bullet shop, uh, the uh -huh. Pun uh -huh. Punta Velo. And they gave uh -huh. it to me on, a, on a, 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 a trade show. And they gave it to okay. me as a little present. And I, mm -hmm. I just uh, formed it to put it on the, my fender. And uh -huh. now that I got on 3D printers by myself, so I print them to put them on the fender for everybody who wants them. So uh -huh. let's see, okay. that's the future, little, okay. little kind of so funny future that, thing. That will come in the future. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so, that's one of the specials. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's kind of shy dish, but yeah, I have yeah. some little specials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little uh, details. Yeah. So okay. for me, it's kind, as I told you, a car replacement. Uh -huh. So of course I need a trunk yeah. uh, to lock my stuff when I park anywhere. Because, uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I, my hobby, next hobby is uh, taking pictures with my camera and mm -hmm. doing little, little kind of clips. And yeah. I have my whole camera gear in this box. So, in the box. Yeah. and I need to lock it when I'm in the streets. Yeah. And they are, therefore, I know before I bought the bike that I mm -hmm. need to build something as my trunk. So, yeah. and then the little aluminum box came. Mm -hmm. And that was the first I had as my trunk. And I yeah. totally built it up. You can see that. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. The green one is your second one then. Yeah. Yes, that's the second one. Yeah. So this, this one. Yeah. This one is the aluminum box. It's just a toolbox you can get in your hardware store, I think, for around 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I did something a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I built it for my needs, you know, uh -huh. as a trunk. And mm -hmm. as I told you, I always bring my camera gear with me. I also wanted to have a possibility to charge my mobile by... Uh, uh, I'm navigating with it mm -hmm. and maybe uh, charge my phone, uh, my camera batteries mm -hmm. when I'm on the run. Mm -hmm. So therefore I put in the box a little kind of a small solar charging system. That was... Yeah, yeah. you see the solar panel on top of the, of the box. Eh? Yes, that's a yeah. thin solar yeah. panel which brings 20 watts. Uh -huh. And yeah, if you open the box... Uh, you will see, yeah, also yeah. the interior. I uh -huh. uh, totally uh, build it up by myself. Because mm -hmm. um, usually it is just a square box and nothing yeah. inside. No. And I separated the box a little bit to mm -hmm. have something like in the left corner, you see there, it's a kind of a, a glove compartment, I always say. Mm -hmm. So, and then you have the main space where I can put my backpack or in general, I had my camera gear down there yeah. and on mm -hmm. top, a little backpack or a jacket, stuff like that. So all day, every day needs, yeah. I had yeah. this little trunk. Yeah. I also had inside uh, LEDs. Uh -huh. LED lights. Uh, yes, there yeah. is a little LED light which mm -hmm. uh, turn on. When you open the lid, uh -huh. then it's automatically turned on. Okay. So I think uh, yeah. here we see the, the charging that's a, unit. 
Right. That's part of the solar system. So it's kind of an island system. So there's okay. the battery inside. It's mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, or oh, how you call them in English. It's not a lithium ion battery. It's a battery oh. from a scooter, from the small ah, yeah. uh, scooters. Scooter. Mm -hmm. And you have oh, 13 ampere hours in there. So, okay. and this, what I'm holding there, is a solar charger. So you need a little device yeah. which uh, can control the solar, the, the, the yeah. electricity coming from See, the solar go panel into going the into battery. the battery. Yeah. So yeah. those both parts are in the small, in the small case there, uh -huh. under my little yeah. glove compartment yeah and then here you see the yes there is the led the light switch, i talked about switch. yeah right uh, yeah. you have a little switch like in the fridge you open the lid the the yeah. The, the, yeah. the light is on and you close the lid the light is and on the light is off. yeah so yeah this yeah mm, more you know it's comfy if you have the battery in there for charging yeah. your phones and your devices why yeah. not building inside light yeah. too? So yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, and you see also the nets there where you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see it's uh, built a yeah. little bit for my needs. Yeah. yeah. So and on the way building that, I I got the green box. That's mm -hmm. an old military box. Yeah. And yeah, I thought it's got just more style and uh -huh. of course more space. I have yeah. more space and I'm happy about more space. So now I decided to replace the aluminium box, the old tool box, you can say, mm -hmm. uh, against this aluminium military box. Okay. And I also will build it up like the old aluminium box. Mm -hmm. And now you can see there's just the form inside. I put, of course, it was raw. Now I yeah. have uh, the form inside there. Yeah. And yes, you can see I can lock can that lock box it. too. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't lockable at first. I changed uh -huh. those brackets to lockable okay. ones. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's coming step by step. You yeah. see... Uh, yeah, you you always can see the the changes of of the box in my Instagram account. In Instagram I, account. I like yeah. I, I like to show a little more how I I set up this box because the, yeah. the yeah. small aluminium box I never showed how I set it up. So okay. Yeah. Now I decided to show a little more how I how I build it up. Yeah. 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 Okay. So and how do you connect it? Uh, to the loading bay of your bike? Is it with uh, screws? Is it screwed down or? Uh... So I have in the bottom, I have just a wooden board. I don't uh -huh. have the, the how you call the bullet board, the composite board. No, I yeah, just have a- You don't have that. Okay. Just have the, the wooden board. And then I'm coming with a bolt from mm -hmm. the bottom through the mm -hmm. frame. And I put a, a nut on top. So I, I bolt down the wooden board Mm -hmm. And this I do on the three uh, connectors between the frame, yeah, you know. The metal, so the I, metal I bars. Have, yeah. Yes, I have three bolts coming from downside. And mm -hmm. on the same areas, I, I drill a hole in the bottom of the aluminium box. Mm -hmm. So I can put the aluminium box on top. Just, I have, how you call those? Wing nuts? Wing nuts, right? yeah. yeah. I use them to tighten them yeah. down so, on three yeah. Bolts and that's uh, and tight. That's, enough. that's yeah. no yeah. worries about that. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we're all gonna follow your adventures with the green box. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. There is a small little mirror. Yeah. It's, it's from a classic car. I just got it from eBay too. So uh -huh. it's a classic, okay. classic car mirror. And I thought, yeah, <laughs> okay. this would fit. And yeah, it uh -huh. fits. So. And yeah. before it was, you know, it was a kind of an airflow uh, from a yacht I had and a mm -hmm. small little mirror at the aluminium toolbox. And yeah. yeah, it was small and just you didn't saw everything. Mm -hmm. Now with this one, I see everything behind me. You can it's see so everything. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's very handy to have a, a rear mirror. Even when you're riding in the city, it's, it's, uh, yes. it's, it's uh, not a luxury. It's, uh, yeah. It's very trafficy here, so I'm. I like yeah. to see what's behind me. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
I can see like you have also like a connection on your seat post. So yeah, that's, that's from for the a trailer Carla or cargo. something. Okay. Right, that's that's the connector from the Carla Cargo I sometimes mm -hmm. use. We have them okay. uh, Carla Cargo on at the more cargo bike shop. Uh -huh. And okay. yeah, you know I'm a lazy guy. I I can replace my aluminium box in front to uh -huh. put a heavy load there. Yeah. But why doing that if I have uh, the possibility to use the Carla Cargo for heavy loads? So I yeah. never replace my aluminium box in front. I just take the Carla Cargo. Okay. It's, uh, so, yeah, it's... And uh, <laughs> how how does it drive? Because uh, we have them also in Antwerp, but uh, up till now I haven't had the chance to to try it out. But I th I think it's it's a quite comfortable ride. Also, it's uh, with the cargo in back, uh, Carla cargo in back. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it. But imagine you can put more than two hundred kilos, I think, on top of the trailer. So yeah. It's worth it. You feel it, but mm -hmm. it's worth it. You can yeah. carry yeah. It, a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just have yeah. to think about it that you have it behind you when you turn corners. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. And then... Um, yeah, we, we have, have the small little pipe. <laughs> the pipe, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, actually the people are asking questions about the pipe a lot. Uh -huh. So this so is, I uh, as see. I told you, um, the I always have my camera equipment with me. Yeah. So this pipe is also made for my tripod. Okay. So uh, and it's it's, uh, it's aluminium or it's a plastic pipe? Or? No, to be honest, that's a toilet plastic pipe from the uh, <laughs> hardware store. It's okay. nothing else. I just no. painted it in yellow because yeah, I couldn't leave okay. it in gray. You know. No. Uh, okay. No, <laughs> no, it fits uh, with it fits in with the with the bicycle. So you just yes. cut it off and then you put it like a, a bottom and a lid on top yes, of it. Yes, I, uh, I glued yeah. the parts together and then uh -huh. I paint. I did a paint job on it and then it was my pipe. But to be honest, there's also another function. Mm -hmm. But this, this we, you will see in future, maybe. Okay. You will see that okay. this year for sure, but uh -huh. yeah, there's, there's a secret function. I always, <laughs> I always yeah. tell the people that I uh, store my tripod in there. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, there's another reason. Yeah. There's another. Um, okay. Yes. Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we... Some secrets you won't get. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we'll have to wait for it. Yeah. Yes. No, no yes. problem. And we'll do. Then we'll do a second interview eh? and then to, to do happy. an update. I'm happy about that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay, we'll have a look. So why 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 did you go for a yellow uh, bullet? Is there a special reason that you choose that color? That's for sure. <laughs> yellow is my color. It was okay. always my color, and it is it's my color. It's your favorite. You it's your I, favorite one. I, ca I can't uh, I, ca I can't lie about that. You can see it. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. And it's a perfect yellow. You have to. Uh -huh. There are different different yellows. If you yeah. see my pipe. The pipe is mm -hmm. not matching a good yellow. Not it was perfect. just a yellow from the yeah. hardware store. Yeah. But this yellow from the bollocks, oh, it was formerly, it was a submarine. I think it's yeah, the same yellow. Yeah, another, that is another yellow. Eh? This is, a, is it? I don't know. It, I don't I see it, the submarine little, that often. I think it's a little bit uh, lighter, not so right. deep yellow. Okay. I think it's, okay. yeah. Uh, then it's I, hard I, then to describe, I, I got, but... Then I got the perfect... Uh, uh, with the bollock, bollocks, because that's my yellow. I really yeah. love the yellow. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, and all the stuff that that's uh, on your on the trunk is it has it a special meaning, or is it just a collection of of little things you've put on the on the trunk? The thing is, yeah, this is uh, in the middle. The big one that's a license plate, uh -huh. and that's that's a Jamaican license plate. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. I saw your your into reggae. Eh? Your uh, a reggae uh, yeah. fan. Yeah. Ma reggae brought me to Jamaica, and I visited Jamaica a few times, and uh -huh. actually got got friends over there. Okay. And uh, one old Rasta friend, I always lived there in Montego Bay in his house. He gave me that as a special, as a special souvenir. Okay. And I got the plate, but also without the frame, and it took mm -hmm. us two days uh -huh. to find this special frame because I needed to have this special frame, and we found <laughs> it 
I got it. Okay. I never had a use for it. And uh -huh. now it's now on my can, box. Yeah, you fix it yeah I love box. it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and then I see the, like the, the uh, three yeah. printed uh, cargo bike. My little bike. Yeah, my little bike yeah. is there too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's getting, well, some people would say it's getting too much, but I don't care. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why? It, yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's a way of decorating your your yes. your bullet. Yeah, yeah. Something other special about the bike, or do you think we have mentioned mm. most of it? Yeah, there are. You know, the bike is in general the bike is original, like Larry yeah. was, Harry sell it. But yeah. yeah, the important things are I think yeah. my builds you, to the boxes. Yeah. yeah. You've concentrated really on the on the two boxes to to make it special, eh? yeah. Yeah, to yeah. to to fit at my needs, you know. Yeah. So of, yeah, and I am a guy who is always having tools in his hand. There's no day without a tool in my hand. Tool. Yeah. So and uh, in work life, so in my private life, so mm -hmm. I'm yeah I'm creative. I'm building stuff, and yeah, yeah I think you can see that, and it's. You know the way it's not to have the box itself of course i'm happy about my trunk as i told you but it's the way to build it up and to put some bits and bobs on here and there that's you know it makes me happy yeah. <laughs> and you can do so much with a bullet i have ideas for some different things so, yeah so you yeah. you you you'll be changing it the, up the next coming year so it's uh, really probably a in, in motion yeah, yeah <laughs> probably yeah, yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the cool thing about the bullet you can buy it almost naked and then you can really personalize it yes to, till yes. you have your perfect or nearly perfect bullet mm -hmm.